Surprising news about the health of former President George W. Bush. He had a heart scare, all of us wondering how a man so famously fit discovered that risk and what can everyone learn from his experience. ABC's chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl has more on the former president. Whether it's mountain biking in Texas or playing golf with wounded warriors, right, George W. Bush at 67 seems yeah, to be baby. as active and physically fit in retirement as he was during his White House days. But a routine physical yesterday found a blockage in a crucial artery that supplies the heart with blood. So this morning, his doctors inserted a stent to prop open the artery so the blood can get through. Bush has no history of heart trouble, and his spokesman says prior to yesterday's physical, he had absolutely no symptoms indicating a problem. In fact, he had just gone mountain biking over the weekend, and less than three months ago, did his annual 100-kilometer ride, paying tribute to wounded warriors. Here's the thing about life. You're going to get dealt a hand you didn't want to play. That's what's going to happen to all of us. And the question is, how do you play the hand when you get dealt it? As president, Bush consistently had stellar health reports. But there is no job more stressful than that one. Here he is the year he was elected, and here shortly before leaving office. In retirement, though, Bush seems to lead a remarkably stress-free life. As he told Diane Sawyer earlier this year, devoting lots of time to painting. I love to paint. Uh, it is, painting has changed my life in an unbelievably positive way. And we caught up with him just last month in Africa, where he spent hours painting a women's clinic in Zambia and later did some dancing. What is it about this continent that makes presidents in this case, get up I, and dance? In this case, I was joyful, full of joy. It was a joyful moment, and I got carried away by the spirit. The former president's spokesman says the heart procedure went perfectly, and he is expected to be released from the hospital tomorrow. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Washington. And wishing him a recovery, we bring in ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. So, Rich, exactly what does a stent do and what does it not do? Well, Diane, this tiny little thing here is, is a stent. And what it does do, if you have symptoms, it can relieve those. What it doesn't do, if you don't have heart attacks, if you, if you don't have heart symptoms, it doesn't prevent a heart attack. It does not prevent a heart attack, and we think of it as, as opening it up so the plaque doesn't cause a heart attack, but that's wrong? That's right. Many studies have shown if you don't have symptoms, it doesn't do anything for you. But if you have symptoms, if you have shortness of breath, chest pain, if you have any fatigue going upstairs, or if, if you have strange symptoms like new sleep problems or, or indigestion, that's when you need to ask about getting a stress test to see if some of your arteries might be blocked. All right. Well, we'll be following the former president tomorrow, hoping he's home. Thank you again.